That's your boy Hack to the tech to the get that check. What's going on? Haven't done the video in a few days. I just been chilling in the cut. Working on some music because I owe people a lot of music and it's got to be done. Shout out to the kids, uh, Heavy J, and shout out to Piff OMC. These kids are from other countries, man, you know what I mean? These kids are from other countries, but they they doing their thing. Their numbers is pretty big on Spotify and YouTube and what's on that, you know what I mean? So yeah, shout out to them, I'm finishing up. Did a whole album with Heavy J, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Um, working on some music with that kid Pit for MC. A lot of y'all don't know him, but they're very known in their neighborhoods anyway. What I wanted to talk about was, um, so I came across a Panda Chop video, you know what I mean, where, um, where uh, Cuban Link, I mean, Cuban Link's cousin is talking about, talking about the fights that Fat Joe and Cuban Link had. I, I just want to point one thing out, all right? First off, you know, I, I, I ain't trying to start this off with this stuff off again, but I just want to point out facts. Listen, man. This is Cuban Link's cousin. Of course he's going to stick up for Cuban Link. No disrespect to Cuban Link. No disrespect to nobody. All right. Okay. So, so Cuban Link fought him a couple times, right? He fought him a couple times. They say that Cuban Link dropped him. They say that Cuban Link dropped him at Jimmy's, right? He snuffed him and dropped him, and that's why he got sliced. He got he got the buck fifty. Okay, that might be true, but there was a time that he fought he fought Fat Joe before that, and that um, he beat up Fat Joe too. You know what I mean? And that Fat Joe snitched. Like, he, he was calling, like, the cops. Now, we're talking about some guy named... Th this guy that Panda Chop was interviewing. This guy, this guy named GQ. He's he's locked up. Uh, supposedly, he's uh, Cuban Link's cousin. He's also Cuban. I mean... Of course, he's going to talk about what Cuban Link, like, 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 he's going to make Cuban Link look like the, the one, the one that's, uh, um, you know, the superior one in this situation, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, Fat Joe, Fat Joe at that time was a pretty big dude. You know, I don't think, I honestly don't think he dropped Fat Joe. Maybe he punched him in the face, you know what I mean? Maybe he punched him in the face, but I don't think he dropped him. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he dropped Fat Joe. You know, I don't think, I, he probably, he probably punched him in the face, but I don't think he dropped him. And the fight before that, I don't know. He said they fought on the street. And the um, Fat Joe's boys ain't want to come out the car because they was, they was uh, you know, they were soft. They were scared or something like that. They were scared of GQ or whatever. <clears throat> you know, and, um, you know, this dude's locked up. He sound like, he sound official. You know what I mean? Like a real thug or whatever. A real Bronx thug. And then, you know, um, I, I agree with him. 
I agree on the fights they probably had. You know what I mean? I agree on the fights they probably had, but I don't. I don't believe Cuban Link dropped Fat Joe. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? I haven't heard Fat Joe say it. Nobody has said it. You know what I mean? Nobody. But we do know is that Cuban Link caught a buck fifty on his face. And he's very angry about that. But you know what? Listen, all these men are pushing 50 and 55 and 60. You know what I mean? Like, it's time to get over it. Like, honestly, we got Panda Chow sitting there talking about Fat Joe snitched, Fat Joe snitched, Fat Joe snitched. Get like getting a heart on off it, you know what I mean? Like, what you gonna do? Go jerk off because cause you think Fat Joe snitched on somebody? Like, come on, man, these dudes are grown men now. That thing happened over 30, 25, 30 years ago, and y'all still sweating it, you know what I mean? It's very annoying, you know what I'm saying? Like, annoying, you know. It sound like a bunch of baby shit, yo. Seriously. Like, <laughs> Come on, man. Get over that. You know what I mean? You know? Get over that. You know what I'm saying? Fat Joe don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? He don't care about what happened 50, 40, 30, 25 years ago. That's over with. That's like the beef between um, the fight between Wu Tang and Bone Thugs and, and Harmony. They had a fight too. You don't see nobody complaining. You know what I mean? <clears throat> anyway, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. And now, another beef that's been going on, which is a very stupid beef. Is Vlad versus Marlon Wayans. Now, I saw the tweets online, and it was because Marlon Wayans demanded 40K plus a percentage of whatever he made off the off off the video and then Vlad got mad and was like look your numbers ain't even reaching this much blah 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 and all of this and all of that you know what I'm saying and then and then he in the in, 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 in interview in the, in the recent interview he did with Tony Yayo Tony Yayo agrees with Marlon Wayans and I agree with Tony Yayo you shouldn't go at the legend recently Marlon Wayans had a stand up comedy it wasn't too long ago I think it was like last year where he had me rolling you know what I mean the dude has a history of being one of the greatest comedians, greatest actors. You know what I'm saying? I think 40k is nothing. I think he should be he should be charging more. Honestly, to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? He should be charging more. You know, um. Salute to the legend, you know, like, these guys are legendary. The Waynes bros, they're just too legendary. They're worth every penny. I mean, if I had that type of money, I would hire him for something myself. You know what I'm saying? Dude, these, you know what I'm saying? I wish I could work on a project with these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Some type of project, acting, whatever, music, whatever. It don't matter, man. 
you know, a cameo in like one of my videos or something, you know, or or even an interview, but but um yeah. We can't disrespect the legends like that, man. And once you disrespect Marlon Wayans, you're disrespecting his whole family now. You're disrespecting his sister, who's a legend, and his bro- all his brothers. You're disrespecting the whole In Living Color. You know what I mean? Like, come on. They got a legacy going on, like a whole legacy. You know what I'm saying? Facts. You know, I mean, shout out to Vlad. You know what I'm saying? I I like his interviews. He interviews a lot of dope artists like Tony Yeo. I like the Tony Yeo interviews. And, and um, you know, every now and then he got a few interviews that are dope. You know what I mean? And uh, But... Yo, I think, I really think um, Vlad should apologize. I think he did apologize. You know, well, shout out to Vlad for apologizing. You know what I'm saying? But um, I still think Marlon Wayans ain't going to mess with him. You know what I'm saying? Or any of the Wayans brothers. And that's, that's, that's a bad look. That's a bad look. You know what I'm saying? Because they pretty much own comedy. You know what I'm saying? They put a lot of people on. Saying Jim Carrey. You know what I'm saying? Jamie Foxx. You know what I'm saying? J Lo, Rosie Perez. Come on, man. You name it. You name it. They put them all. They put them all on. You name it. They've all been on their shows. You name it. Hilarious. Fact. Not to mention all the great classic hit movies they they've done. You know what I'm saying? That that movie White Chicks is hilarious. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I don't agree with that. With, with uh, what Vlad was saying to to Martin Wayans, disrespecting him like that on Twitter. You know what I mean? Seriously, you know what I mean? Um, shout out to Marlon Wayne, shout out to Black T Vlad T V too, but you know, that really went left anyway. And the other beef that's going on is about China Mac and No Jumper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? China Mac mad cause No Jumper said cause he was going to Crip Max. Is it Crip Mac? You know, that dude that do that that uh that that says five 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 on five five. Well, yeah, he was going to Crip Crip Max uh court sentencing, and then he was sarcastically he was like, "Let's see if China Max there." You know what I mean? I think uh, China Mac got mad at that, you know, because remember the last time China Mac got mad because no jumper was there. Now this time. I mean, Adam Adam 22 wasn't there. Now, this time Adam 22 was there. And he had China, uh, Crip Max back. And, uh, you know, he got uh, he got 33 months, which means he'll be out. He'll be out in no time, you know, less than, a, less than two years. You know what I mean? So he good in the hood. Shout out to Crip Mac, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to China Mac, too. But, yo... I wouldn't get mad, China Mac. You out there in Vietnam doing your thing. I see you. You out there. You traveling the globe, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Don't let nothing get you mad, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing your thing. You know what I mean? You got wifey out there. And, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Just don't let anything get to you, man. I mean, facts. I'm out. Your boy, Hack to the Tech, to get that check. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe and share. You heard? I'm out, chair. Please. Yeah.